Kikana. I know it's been such a long time since I put out a new video, but I promise you that there will be more upcoming new videos in the week or two so. So first of all, as you know by the title, I am I'm going to show you my uh, art and craft room tour and plus organization tips. So before we do the get into this video, please subscribe this channel and click on the notification bell. But wait, before subscribing, I want I have a challenge for you guys. So what you have to do is you have to press the subscribe button and the notification bells with your thumb only. So I'll wait for you. And let's go. So first of all, here I have a tray. I know it's because it's much easier. So first of all, I have this pen holder. And in this pen holder, I have... I have Vaseline because my lips get dried too fast. And this is also where I do some of my studying and also my craft room, everything. So, I also have a light this from here, from the left and also from the back. So, it's easy for me. So, first of all, I have the soft scotch tape because it's so much easier and it is actually transparent when you click it there. Then I have my shading pencils. So, here are my shading pencils. I have a long eraser and then I have some of my cartridges so as you can see this is the cartridge and this is a pen so then I have this toothpaste box right here as you can see you can see this is from Colgate I have actually transformed it into a storage thing for my maps I because I have a lot of maps and I also store my craft paper right here these are a4 color sheets and this is my both my maps because i have a lot of map work to do every time and i also have some hot glue gun sticks here too and just in case a tissue then here i have my tools station actually this is a cotton buds box but i've transformed it here i have my glue i have a little the thing which you got to spin for your cooling because i you know that i have cooling videos on and there will be more upcoming and then i have some ice cream sticks for swapping colors acrylic colors and everything else i also have a knife mini knife cutter and then i have my scissors and this is the zigzag cutter uh, paper cut uh, paper scissors then i have also my sticky notes just in case so then i have my gum from camlin and most importantly my mini little hot glue gun i know this is very small and it's easy to to get away with it and i have my Needed eraser in this box. I mean, I sh I'm sure that you know what is needed eraser, right? So this is there. I store it in there for convenience. And they here I have two little cups, two cups here, big cups here. One for storing my color pencils, another for storing my sketches. So markers, sketches, everything else there. I have also coordinated it by the shape it has. This one has double dual colors, but it has an hexagon shape. And this one is just a normal color pencil. But this one has a triangular shape. It's also dual color. So I've released it in both colors. And then I have these normal ones, which are like normal color pencils. Yeah. Then I have sketches. I've just made it like a little cinnamon roll right here. I have a, one of my highlighters here. Others are on my steady table. Then I have two of my most used tapes. This is actually like a duct tape but it's not actually. This is a normal cellophane tape. So then I also store some of my beauty products here too. I have a comb. Then I have a scissor. I also have clay in here but you cannot see it. And this is actually my watercolor. Water 
thing where I keep it. There's also clay here and also some scales so I could have easy access to it. Then in this box, it's actually a product. It's actually a box which was delivered. I just keep in my uh, talcum powder, cream and stuff like that. This is just a normal bindi thing. Then moving here, I I have just stuck and cut those um, what you can call our biscuit boxes. So as you can see, I've transformed it into a thing like this. I just store some of my stuff here, regularly used stuff. Then here I have my sanitizer since, since during this time fine and you don't know. And this was actually transformed from this. This is just a normal close-up toothpaste box. But I just cut it into it off and I've stuck paper together and made it like this. This one has full compartment. And this one I've just made it into half a compartment for each. Show the sanitizer. So I have both things here too. Okay. So it's a divider here. Next up, I have these two. These are bigger bottles and this is gel. Okay. As you can see here. I have some brown paper which I just stuck here. So for easy access I have here. Then this one is also uh, the same biscuit box I had from. I just cut it into different sections. I just used two or uh, two uh, boxes for these. I actually stored my straws, colored straws in here. I may use it for some use so I have kept it there. I also store some of my glitter pens and permanent CD markers. And also I have one whiteboard marker here. And this is a permanent big tip marker and this is fabric glue as you can see here this is an all fix glue this is a normal glue you would see normal fevicol i also have another fevicol here this is a neon paint acrylic then here i have a battery for easy access and here a tiny little fevicol thing so here i have just stuck little beads which says love do what you love and love what you do but i didn't keep it there but it's do what you love minute, so the I next super the next thing it just fits right here so it's easy for access next thing i have is just a normal mirror you can see what is that ice cream well this ice cream is actually let me tell you I, uh, I had a school project for making a periscope. So my dad bought these two mirrors. And then he took out the mirrors to, for making the project. So I had just left it like this. Empty. So I wanted to make like a picture frame to do it so. So what I did was. I took a piece of paper. I just cut it into the shape I wanted it to become. And then I created my own design which actually says don't forget to reward yourself and this ice cream i have just stuck it with glitter all over so you can see okay. right here what is your what is this one is periscope yeah this one is your periscope you know that you want to see for example you see it here and you can see what's there oh it's nice so it's like wallpaper design here so I'll keep it here. Next, what I have there is I also have another sanitizer and also store some of the wire stuff here like plugs and also this is also an empty Vaseline tube but I can use it for other purpose so I've just kept it here and this is an also an empty soap box. I know I can use it, use it. So great tip here guys. You can actually reuse most of the product in your home. So actually you can see this is a card. I have a cardboard box for everything. I have took it from okay, two test is, tubes. What is that photo frame placed at the top? Well, this was me when I was 8 to 9 years old. My friend gave it for me as a present. Good. And then I most importantly forgot. These are inspirational motivation puns of encouragement 
encouragement. These are heavily inspired by doodles by Sarah. So you can look, have a look at them. Super. So I didn't copy it. I just copied it because I thought it was inspirational. So it, the owner of this is doodles by Sarah. So, so you are kidding. giving the credit to her. Yeah. I very much love her doodles. Good. So next step, I also saw that there's another cardboard box right here. And here is a box to store my, what you can call, a, a storage box. This is for my makeup, you can see right here. I have my cotton pads here. I have some of, this is actually from a loom band set. But I just took it and converted it to a jewelry section. And these are all my brushes. I even have some string for, you know, when you want a perfect winged eyeliner. And then I have my face mask. And then also have my remover. And stuff just like that. So, it's also easy for access. So, it's easy. And it's also handle. not weightable. It has a handle. So, you can carry it whenever you go. It they are small handle. sizes too. So now coming to the part where I have most of my stuff is, I got this boxes from organization boxes from Santosh. Santosh so, Superstore. Yeah. So first of all, this box I have here is just to store some of my pouches. In this pouch, I have my essentials, which I can mean is that I have my favorite gel, white gel pen, which is used for highlighting. I also have a brush pen right here. This is an old brush pen I have. This is a metallic marker. And this is my favorite uniball gel black color. And this is an art line, fine line, purple color. And then I also have it in the same color, uniball, pink. So I store it here as my essential stuff. So as you can see, it's also for easy access. So I can put it like here and take it any way I go. So then this box, it actually cost me 40 rupees. I think you cannot see it properly. It's upside down. Then these are just medical boxes my grandmother had. So I just took the, these. They are just empty. I know they can use this for another organization. This is also another empty soap box. And this is also another medicine box. So I keep it here. Even I have a mini cutter here. And I also have this pouch which I do not know what I can use for. So next keep it aside yeah next thing i have is this 12 boxes side organization box this actually cost me i don't remember it it was 80 82 rupees i think so and this is actually to store some of my art and profit those those that are small these are mini clothes pins this is a small inspirational book and these are glass flowers, purple flowers. These are rings for quilling, jumkis and everything like craft supplies. I use it for earrings, jewelry. This is beautiful sequins, big sequins you have. Then I have some confetti. Then I have small lit I have a small stamper. This is a snowflake. This is an this is an umbrella. This is a heart and this is a big flower. And these are little jingle bells. As you can see here. And in this box, I have cards, mini little greeting cards. So it's for easy access. I can have it for my friends' birthday or relatives. And these are fake foam plastic flowers. And this is an holographic pink flowers. I mean pink beads I know. And this is molded 
which is like a clay you have to you have to make it mold it and you can leave it for 24 hours or 9 hours and then you will be left with a beautiful masterpiece then another one is the same 12 size box here i store my wooden beads colorful and here i store my white with red color beads glass pieces Open. extra paint scotch double sided tape you can see the another molded and here i have my holographic pink tape here red and pink holographic tape here blue holographic tape here red, green holographic tape here blue yellow holographic tape and here is um, this tape is not kind of sticky as you can it's actually used for painting so it doesn't rip the pages and this is a normal mini cellophane tape these are paper tapes as you can see another tip from you for me guys you can actually put tape, pieces of tape on it and you can name it so you don't forget it and it's for easy access so you you pasted the tape yeah even if you have opaque containers so it's easy for access, you can know where which this is. So somewhat a transparent tape you have fixed over yeah. each box. Scotch tape is the best guys, I to write really it, recommend uh, it. Writing uh, on this tape is easy, no? Yeah. You can write it with normal ballpoint pen, gel pen or no, even marker. CD markers. Okay, good. Next is my favorite box. It's a painting supplies box. So it's really heavy guys. First of all I have my very old watercolor cake painting set here. Okay. And then I have my brushes. Here are all sort of brushes. I actually don't even have a filbert brush but I just use a old eyeshadow brush for the filbert. So it's no problem if you don't have any brushes or they are costly you don't want it. You can always find a duplicate for that. See here you have this. I have flat brushes. Every single brush here. Then I have for calligraphy brush pens. These are of 6 colors and this is 91 rupees. And here since I don't have a palette knife. I have a broken knife which I can use. Then I have a scale, pencil and eraser and also this fine liner which is just 10 rupees. This is from Ad. And then I have my most used acrylic colors right here. This one is actually a medium for this one. It's actually powder. When you mix it with that, it becomes paint. This is red, a deep yellow. This is blue. This is green as you can see. This is dark green and this is black. Even I have a little sap green one. Then I put all of it back here. So for easy access I have here. Then I have this Fabrica Acrylic Colors Ultra. Six shades but it's actually not six shades. I only have three colors because I only got three colors from them. So these are the colors. White, Lemon Yellow and Sap Green. Then the other three colors are poster colors, as you can see. Right. So right. this one is Parisian blue, this is vermilion, and this is yellow ochre. Right. And in this tube, I have my excess tubes of watercolor paint, as you can see here. I usually store them for putting it in that piece. Then, these are the poster colors I got from. These are also not full. I only got four of them. The other, uh, I have a fabrical glue for that. I have another ultramarine blue. This one is chrome yellow. This is actually pearl metallic copper. This one is sap green. This one is also sap green. This one is... Maybe let me see it. This is actually white, but because it has ran out, I have put my excess paint into it. So, it's another great organization tips. Do not throw away your old containers. They can be used. 
and then I have crimson and then I have a lemon yellow of poster color. So even if when these are out of colors, you can reuse colors in it. You can put inside them and you can even use this box as too. Then last but not least, I have my very super realistic watercolor tubes. These are of 18 shades as you can see. Alright. Okay. So the, this is it for my heart supplies here. This is the boxes I own. So it's not also not a problem if you don't have boxes like this. You can always reuse you can always rearrange it in your own method. I even though even if I have these boxes, I rearrange it day by day. And last but not the least is this box, which is my craft box right here. I have my hot glue sticks right here, another pair peak. I know these are big ones. I don't have a big one hot glue gun. I am just going to melt it them by hot sticks. And these are big fluffy pom poms. I have also pipe cleaners. And even I have pom small pom poms. See, now you can even reuse the container. This was used for acrylics. Now it can be used for anything else. So I have another. Uh, this is also the same like molded and I have some more ice cream sticks and then here I'll show you what I have. I actually have this stickers I have here. This is a smiley, this is emotion sticker, this is heart sticker. Here I have a little of star stickers. These are holographic as you can see. I have crepe paper, I have little bits of foam sheet, they are glitter, I have pink and a blue. Then here, let me just show it for them. I have many little stickers too. These are beers. This is rhinestones. And this is googly eyes. So now I'm let me put them back to where they belong. So another thing is that you have to keep being on nice or else there's no use of buying things and they're letting them be in another place. So as you can see here, this is actually for an jewelry making. So I can use those for quilling. Actually, these boxes cost me 86. That's also 86. Both of the boxes are same size. So let me keep back to where they belong. So you know how to organize and arrange all the art yeah. and craft supplies. The most important thing, after you buy any sort of organization boxes or just make your own boxes, you have to rearrange them. Or else it's no use of making them or buying them. So, there's also another part which I'm going to be showing my lower part of my table. So, this is the upper part of my table. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye, guys. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part 2, which will be the next video I will be posting on. And another tip. Don't worry if you don't have organization boxes. It's okay. You can make them out of your own. You just need cardboard or any other paper. There's so many organization tips videos out there. And you can also make origami organization things. So, like this video if you like it and share. And I hope you did your subscri subscribe challenge. So, bye guys.